Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 1 half x. And we're going to do it two ways. We'll do this table here, get the points and plot those for our graph, and we'll check our work with slope intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x. I think I'm going to start with 2. And the reason is 1 half times 2, that gives me 1. So I don't need to deal with fractions. How about a 0? So we have 1 half times 0, that just gives us 0. And then I'll put a negative 2 in. 1 half times negative 2, that'll give me negative 1. So these are the points that we'll graph for our linear equation y equals 1 half x. We could have put other values in. These just seem to work out to give us points that'll show right up on our graph here. So let's graph it. We have x is 2, 1, 2, and y is 1. We have x is 0, y is 0, and then we have x is negative 2 and y is negative 1. And you can see there's our graph. Put a line through it. Let's put arrows here to show that it goes to infinity. And again, we could put really any values in for x. They'd all show up on the line. You could get away with doing two points. I like having three to make sure I got it correct. Let's check this with slope intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. Here's our m. And here's our x. And we don't have a b up here, so b is going to be 0. That's where this line crosses the y-intercept, right here, 0. We can think of our slope, m, the 1 half, as rise over run. And that way, we can go to our y-intercept right here at 0 on the y-axis. We'll go up 1 and over 1, 2. That's our first point. From there, we go up 1 and over 1, 2. And we can keep doing this. And all these points, they're on our line. Likewise, we could go down 1 and over 2, down 1 and over 2, and those points will also be on the line for y equals 1 half x. So we know we did this first part correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph of the linear equation y equals 1 half x. Thanks for watching.